Hi, this is John from Flat Cat Gear. And uh, I've been experimenting with this uh, magical Swiss fire gel. You know, this is uh, the magical stuff that makes things disappear. Uh, so one of the uh, comments I got back was, okay, so we've got this uh, nice, you know, gelled alcohol. And it looks like it's easier to pour and stuff, but how safe is it? So I thought I'd do this experiment. So in the first video, uh, what I'm going to show you is I've gone out this isolated road, nothing around, and I'm going to light a uh, denatured alcohol stove in a cat can stove and tip it over. So let's take a look at that. In this next video, what I do is I take the same stove and I fill it with fire gel and I get it nice and hot and I tip it over. And so let's take a look and see what that one looks like. <clears throat> so now after the test, I kind of eyeball it. And what I'm looking at is that the fire gel spread uh, maybe a quarter to a fifth of the same area as a denatured alcohol. So that's the advantage of having the thickener in it. Now I've been discussing uh, gelled alcohols with the fire marshal at uh, um, Sequoia National Forest. And my guess is they're not going to allow it. Uh, what they're really looking for is they're looking for stoves uh, that you can turn off in higher fire seasons. So, um, Probably can't use it during the fire bans. However, it is still uh, looks like these uh, gelled alcohols are a lot safer than regular denatured alcohol. So I bought the I bought the Swiss uh, fire gel on uh, Amazon. I think it was sixteen dollars, um, kind of thick. I found a, a, a substitute. It's actually a pretty nice substitute. This is, uh, I went to CVS. This is hand sanitizer. Uh, this particular hand sanitizer has 70% uh, ethanol in it. So the fire gel that I had had 80% ethanol. This is 70% ethanol. And let's take a look at what this looks like when you fire it off. So if you want to experiment at home with uh, fire gels, uh, a cheap way to go is these hand sanitizers. This one cost me, I think it was $2.99, and it's a four ounce bottle. Um, also, I'm looking online, there are ways to um, add thickeners to um, alcohol, and I'm going to see if I can come up with a, a simple, easy DIY way of thickening up alcohol. Again, um, you probably still can't use it during a fire ban, however, um, I think there's a significant uh, um, improvement in uh, safety and handling if you add a little thickener to it. So come visit us at www.flatcatgear.com.